So by the expansion, you know that this is equal to 100. It's just 20 into 2. But 20 into 2 is the current rate. Because that's all that's left here. There's no, there's not supposed to be any more remainder here. So this expansion is going to be A1 square plus B1 square. We all know, since maybe standard 8, that to find the square root of a number, we have to use the long division method. But very few people know why it actually works, the logic behind it. So to find the logic behind it, let's first start with a simpler number, uh, a square of a two digit number. So let n, which is a perfect square, equal to 10, 10, a plus b whole square. This is a two digit number square, right? Two digit number square. So by the expansion, we know that this is equal to 100 a square plus 20 a b plus b square. So to find the square number, our first job is to find this, right? A square number, which is of the form a square into 100. And then in turn, we can find 10a, the root of that. So to explain this properly, let's take a small example. 625. So what's our first job when we first see this number? To divide the groups of two, starting from the right. Why we do this? It's because any square number, right? Any square number will always be of the form a into 10 to the power 2k. Yes, even the one digit numbers, there'll just be a into 10 to the power 0. This is just a. So it will always be of this form. a into 10 to the power 2k plus 1. This will never be square. Right? So there's no point of considering this. Only these, only these will consider. So pairs of zeros. Zero digits. So here we'll take it as 625. So, we, so how this is usually represented when we're taught this is like this, grouping it. So to find, so our job is not to find the closest square number to six. Our job is to find the closest number to 600, which is of the form 100 a square. And, and here, the closest number here, which is of this form is 400, which is equal to two square into 100. So here we write 400. And often these two zeros are left out when we're taught this in schools. But this is the actual way that we should be representing it. And here we write 2, right? We can write 20 for, for you know, mathematical correctness. So we have the square root of this 20 here. And then we put this 20 over here. Now often again, the 0 is left out. But the correct way is to put this 0. Now we know that this, we know this now. This is equal to 400. So our next job is to find this, correct? And this can be rewritten as B into 20A plus B, right? And this 20 is nothing but two times what we got here. This is 10A, this is 20A. So just into two. So often we're told that 20 plus 20, but that's not actually two, it's 20 into two. 20 plus 20 is a, is just 20 into 2. But 20 into 2 is the correct way, because as we can see here. So into 2, we'll get 40. Okay? And once we do this subtraction, we'll get 2, 2, 5. Now again, this is often represented as bring down this 2, 5. But you don't bring down anything, you just subtract. So what we're doing here is, this minus this, which should give us this, which should give us this. And we know this to be this. So we need to find B now. And B should be a unit digit, such that when I add it here, and then multiply it with that unit digit, I should get this perfectly. Right? Because that's all that's left here. There's no, there's not supposed to be any more remainder here. This is all. So it should be this number perfectly. So 40 plus some B into B equal to 2 to 5. And in this case, this number is 5. And then we add here also plus 5. 
right? And because this is this is 10a plus b, this number. So 10a was 20, and b is now 5. We found d. So b is 5, and we add 5 here. So now we know from this that 25 square is equal to 625. Now let's generalize this for more digits. So we know that a1 plus b1 plus c1 dot 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 and let's say z1 but you can add more digits so you can add an a2 you can add a b2 you can add a c2 you can add a c2 and you can keep going on for n number of digits okay this is my number whole square that's my number n so this expansion is going to be a1 square plus b1 square dot 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 z1 square plus 2 into a1 b1 oh sorry a1 b1 plus b1 c1 dot 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 until you get the entire thing this is your expansion and now we can apply the same exact logic again with this so just this square, find this square, find this square, and keep on going until you get the same result. So this proves that this long division method that we've been taught is working for any number of digits. It's, it works for, you know, 0, 0, dot, 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 n, any number. And that is the proof of why this method works. Thank you.